Hey bro chicas, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to do a what's in my bag um, video because this is an old school YouTube video. I have seen it recently cycling around in YouTube that people are going back to the old classic YouTube videos. So I really wanted to film one for myself. I've never done it on my channel. Um, so I was like, let's do a what's in my bag because I actually need to clean this baby really bad. So before I clean it out and everything, I thought it would be fun to see what's inside there and maybe have a laugh about it because <laughs> um, I haven't cleaned this purse out since I started using it. And so it's been months. If you hear squeaking, it's my chair. I need a new chair. <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you if you hear squeaking, it's my chair. So hopefully it's not too annoying. So let's just get into the video. To start off, I want to show you guys what bag I have and where I got it from. So this is a Steve Madden bag. It's, I don't think it's real leather, but you know, it feels like real leather, but. I can't really say that it is. I don't know, it's Steve, it's Steve Madden, so it might be. Um, so it's a black little mini backpack. It's like the most perfect mini backpack I've ever found. I've always wanted one of these bags and I never found anything that was like exactly my taste and was also comfortable and fit a good amount of stuff in it all in one take. So until I found this guy right here and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, it's the best $30 that I've ever spent. I believe I paid $30 for it at TJ Maxx and this was, um, I wanna say like a couple months before I went on vacation. I went on vacation in like the end of June and I got this intending to use it for vacation because we were gonna you know, go to the airport and we have kids and it's like, I'll be hands-free so it'll make life easier. That's what I got it for, but I ended up actually really, really liking it and it's been in my purse ever since. I started using it as soon as I bought it, which was a couple months before vacation, and I haven't put it down. And usually I switch purses a lot, but I'm obsessed with it. So it did have this little um, leather tassel that came on it, which was really cute, but it fell off. So that was the only downside to this purse is that that leather tassel fell off only from using it after a few weeks which is like hmm that's weird right but maybe that's why it was at tj maxx the rest of it is like super super good quality um very good quality like this is gonna last me a long time it's got gold detailing gold zippers gold steve madden here and it comes with this little keychain that says steve madden EST 1990 and then I went ahead and put this cute little fluff ball on it that I got from Dollar Tree uh, You may have seen it in one of my Dollar Tree hauls and I just think it looks you know looks cute gives it a little touch So it also has this handle here If you just quickly want to get into your car and you don't want to put the backpack on you just hold it from here It's very very sturdy um, And it's got the straps and all over the entire thing. It says Steve Madden and it's simple, but it's the, with the gold, I think it's very cute. It's got just enough detail for me. It's got adjustable straps here. It says Steve Madden on these straps. And these are kind of like uh, seatbelt type material. Um, so yeah, so that's what the outside looks like. I'm obsessed with this bag, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Maybe we'll start with this little pocket right here. I know it's a mess in there. I You can fit so much in this bag and it's kind of dangerous because I just end up hoarding a bunch of crap. So this first zipper has a leather tassel on it and this one is a metal tassel. And let's just go ahead and see what's inside. It's a mess, literally a mess, okay. I don't know where I'm gonna keep all this stuff. So first thing I see is this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Compact. This is the powder foundation in the shade Light. 115 it's super dirty and disgusting i need a new sponge this thing is gross and probably has bacteria all over it but this is just like my to-go um compact that i use to just like touch up if i'm like really oily or greasy or something the next thing i see is a lighter you know you never know when you're gonna need a lighter um i also have a chapstick uh this is the sweet papaya chapstick we don't like crusty lips. Then I have a bunch of business cards. Let's see if I can pull them all out. All right, I have a bunch of business cards. 
So one or two of these are for Mariah, my master stylist, the lady who cut my hair. And then the other one is uh, Dr. Gary Lawton, which is a plastic surgeon. And this one is Anchorage Inn and Suites. We don't like them. These are the people who robbed me when I was on vacation. Um, and then I have my own business cards. Let me cover this up for you. But these are my makeup freelance business cards. And then on the back, they're cute. It says, you're already beautiful. Makeup just reveals your confidence. Okay, so I also have a little <laughs> via instant uh, Starbucks coffee because you never know when you go somewhere especially on vacation that's why I put these in here initially is that if you're like at a hotel or something or you're somewhere and you're tired because you're on vacation or you were traveling or on the plane or whatever and you need coffee and ain't nobody got some good coffee you got to bring some Starbucks instant packets because you never know when you're gonna need it and I don't drink Folgers Yes, I'm a coffee snob, but rightfully so. I've been in the coffee business for over a decade, so I'm a snob. Um, I have some Band-Aids, just like a mom would, you know. I feel like every mom needs Band-Aids in their purse. And I have, I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, but I just feel like it's going to be a long video. Like, we're already at seven minutes, jeez. Okay, so, Sunoco. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh, this is a receipt from vacation. I think we were filling up gas. Uh, let's see. I have a mini lipstick by Bite Beauty. It's the Amu Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Verbena. It's this cute little mini lipstick. It's kind of like, it's kind of similar to the color I have on right now. It kind of has like a mintiness to it. I really like that one. I have way too many lip products in my purse, I can already tell you. And this is a Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in Super Strawberry. It kind of melted, so it's kind of broken. It looks like a crayon, but it's like just a kind of like a kind of like a chapstick, but like colored, like with some tint to it. Um, I have a Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Sun Glaze, one of my favorite like natural glowy gold lip gloss. And I have a Chanel Chance Eau de Toilet um, little perfume. I love Chanel Chance. Oh, it smells so good. I like the original, I like the purple one, and I like the green one. They smell very, very good. Another Band-Aid. I just have too much stuff in here. Another coffee, a pen, never know when you need a pen. I have a hair tie because my worst fear ever is being at work or just like being out somewhere where you need your hair up and you're redoing your ponytail because it gets messy or something and it snaps and you don't have anything for your hair. That's like my worst fear, especially at work, really more so at work because I have to have my hair up at work. So I have an extra hair tie in there. I also have some Benadryl because this summer I was having very bad allergies. I have two Benadryls and a clip if my baby hairs are starting to annoy me. And then the rest of this is just a bunch of cough drops. Like I said, I haven't emptied this out since vacation and on vacation I had a cough and my allergies were really bad so I just threw like handfuls of cough drops in there but you know we're already getting to fall so I might as well keep those in there and then the last thing is a bobby pin because again you never know when your hair is going to piss you off and get in your way and I need it out of my face. Now we are going to the big compartment right in here it's a mess. <laughs> It's a mess. Okay, let's take the biggest things out first. This is my wallet. I got this wallet from Charlotte Roos. It was on sale. I believe it was like two or three dollars. It was super, super cheap. And it, this was months before I went on vacation because I was shopping for sale items. You know what? It might have even been last fall that I found it, so they definitely won't have it now. But it's got a gold zipper. So I was like, oh, it goes with my gold zipper on my purse. And you know, holographic matches everything. So I just thought it was cute. And the wallet I had before this, I had literally had for six years. So I needed a new one. And here's 
quickly. I don't think there's anything important in there, but yeah, it's just like the typical, you know, you got your change pocket, your dollars, you can put receipts here and cards on both sides. I have a Starbucks gift card. I have TC Rewards. This is uh, Thrift City for thrift shopping. I have a Big Lots reward card. I have Spencer's Pierce Nation. So every time you get a uh, jewelry, you get a little stamp there or a little cutout. And when you get six of those after that, you get a free piercing jewelry, which is sick. I said I had an Ulta card, right? I already showed you. I already told you guys had a um, Ulta card. I have the Ulta credit card, but I don't use it because um, I'll get myself into some trouble. And I also have the Sephora Beauty Insider card because who doesn't have those? Um, what else is fun in here? I have a AAA card. I have another Dr. Lawton business card, the plastic surgeon that I went to see. And then I have insurance cards for myself and my kids. A Target gift card that I'm pretty sure has nothing in it, but I'm a hoarder for some reason. I'm telling you, I have to clean this out. <laughs> and uh, what else? A JCPenney credit card, which I actually do use sometimes, but I just paid it off. Um, what else is in here? That's fun. I think that's it there. And then let's see how much money I have in here. One $5 bill, and that is it, because I never have cash. The only cash I ever get is from tips for my work. So I have $5 and like, let's see, <laughs> one dime, two nickels, and a bunch of pennies, cool. So that's that. And I have an HEB receipt, which is my local grocery store. It's my favorite grocery store. So that was my last grocery shopping list. And we have a Ben & Jerry's coupon for 75 cents off of any two pints of non-dairy frozen yogurt because my husband is lactose intolerant. We just found out. So, um, and then I have Buddy Bugs. Oh, I forgot these were in here. Um, if you don't know what HEV is, I think they're only in Texas, but they have this little game for the kids for when you're done grocery shopping, the uh, cash register, the, the cash register, the <laughs> cashier. I was like, what is that word? The cashier will give you buddy bucks and you put them into the machine and it spins around and around and you press the button and you get to win a prize. Um, so the cashier last time gave my son like five of these and we we're like, whoa, 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 that's too much. We gotta go home. So we just let him do a couple of them and I put these in my purse for next time. Um, I have a pack of gum, Trident Original Flavor. That's the one I'm chewing on lately. I have, <sighs> these are kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um nature's measure weight control tablets i got these at dollar tree i don't know if they work you guys it's not a magic pill um i think it just helps your body metabolize i don't even know i just bought these because i was like having a panic attack about gaining weight and i tried to take them but i don't think i was ever consistent basically it just has vitamin b6 iodine lecithin 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 i don't know what that is apple cider vinegar so that's what's in it i don't know if i'm ever going to use them anymore but um i also have a hand lotion this is the super smooth body lotion 24 hour moisture shea butter and coconut oil in the scent sweet pea from bath and body works this smell brings me back to childhood Ah, it smells so good and so youthful. I don't know why I have it because I'm not very youthful, but I just love the smell of it. It's very fresh. So I have that. I'm like running low, actually. I should probably get a new one soon. And then, of course, I always keep hand sanitizer in there. Um, I just get these in a three-pack from Dollar Tree, and this is a lavender scent with vitamin E. And then I have a second wallet. I am crazy, 
and I have two wallets just because it makes me feel better. I have my license in this thing. It's just like this little insert. I just keep my debit cards here and my ID because it's just so much easier to pull this out when somebody needs to see my ID or if I'm just using a card. So I'll show you guys my ID picture. I'm super chunky. I don't know if it's gonna... I was pregnant when I took that picture and then I have two debit cards in here and what else holy moly okay I have way I have a panty liner cuz duh and then another HEB receipt for pads and creamer and I have a bunch of my business cards again it's like a whole stack of my makeup freelance business cards. You know, you never know, you never know who you're gonna run into and you gotta, you know, you gotta promote yourself and give away your business cards. Um, I have a Thrift City receipt, which is the thrift store that I shop at sometimes. And let's see, I got a Junior's blouse, uh, t three men's t-shirts and men's tennis shoes. Oh, this was the first time I ever went thrift shopping. That was that come thrift with me video. I have two thicker liners, you know, for when you're actually on the period. I have a super tampon. Um, I have a different brand of a regular tampon. That's Tampax, I believe. And then I have two more thick liners because, you know, we bleed a lot. Um, I have... <laughs> A, I'm telling you, why do I have so many lip products in my purse? Like, I don't need this many. I don't even need this one in there. Like, who reapplies this kind of color? Who keeps this kind of color to wear on a daily basis? I don't know why this is in there. It's probably from vacation, and I was, like, packing, and I just, like, threw it in there because I did wear this on vacation. That's the only time I've worn it. And this is the Wet n' Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Flame of the Game. It's, like, an orangey red. It's super beautiful. Let me put that away here. And then I also have a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Sandstorm. This is a favorite of mine. I use it a lot. I really love that color. Um, and then I have my keys. So this is my like house keys, car keys, mail keys. Um, and then I have a little unicorn on it. And he's all dirty and disgusting. <laughs> all right, what else? Gum wrappers. Gum wrappers, a penny. More gum wrappers. More gum wrappers. Because I'm a dirty biatch. Uh, another lip product. This is an OG. This is the C.O. Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Tint. Um, so this is a lip gloss, uh, from Bath and Body Works and I don't think they sell these anymore. I have a blue pen, just in case you don't want to use a black pen. I'm dropping things. I have, oh, this is my coworker's business card. I can't show you the front of it, but, um, it's for real estate. She's a real estate agent and I have a random piece of gum by himself and another gum wrapper, and is that it? Wait, this was, oh, I, I thought I took this out. You know those little gel silicone things that comes in new purses? I thought I took that out. All right, and that is it. That is the contents of my purse. So now I can finally clean her and only put things in there that I need. <laughs> But anyways, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this little chill video, this like OG YouTube video. I'm appreciating all of the things that are coming back now. Like, has anybody noticed how much like 90s grunge style is coming back? I'm so here for it. I mean like, look at my choker, look at my cute little messy bun, look at these, look at my grunge makeup. Just like, I'm so down for the 90s grunge, dude. I'm so happy it's coming back and I just feel like a lot of older things 
are coming back into play. Old YouTube videos are coming back. Old styles are coming back and I'm down for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Maybe I should do this like once every six months or every time I change my purse maybe. But I know that I'm going to be using this purse for quite a while because I'm obsessed with it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I think that's it, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Baby.